I'm Larry Anglosano reporting for our Aviation Consumer along with Bendix King's Chuck Burkhead. And we're plugged into the company's retrofit radio stack, which includes the now certified KSN 770 GPS navigator. Now, Chuck is going to offer a look at the interface and, in particular, the improvements made to the KSN 770 since I flew the uncertified version back in 2013. Okay, this is the Bendix King Retrofit Stack. On the top here we have the KMA30. Uh, this is a uh, Bluetooth audio panel. Uh, we have the KSN770. This is a Navcom WASH GPS. It's also a multifunction display that has the capability of uh, displaying uh, uh, radars, Bendix King digital radars. Um, also uh, KGP560 terrain awareness and active traffic system. Down below, we have the KT-74. That's an ADS-B out transponder. So combined with the WASP position source from the KSN-770, uh, with the uh, KT-74, we have an ADS-B out solution that meets the 2020 mandate. The KSN-770 is a hybrid interface. So by that, I mean that this is a touch-sensitive screen, but it also has a full bezel full of hard keys. If you notice over here, this is very familiar, concentric radio-specific knob. So you can see here we can change the uh, radio frequencies. Uh, we have the flip-flop function. Um, also the direct to all the uh, buttons that are typically used um, in flight are very easily located right across the bottom. Over here we have a multi-function joystick. You can pan this, you can twist this, you can also push this. And of course there's uh, hard keys that are dedicated to uh, icons on the screen that go down both sides of the bezel. So the KSN 770 is derived from technology that was developed uh, by Honeywell for uh, larger aircraft such as the PC-12. Uh, this is the direct descendant from the uh, the Apex system. Uh, one of the great things about the Apex uh, that's been adapted uh, to meet the uh, both the VFR and the IFR mission of the KSN 770 is the architecture. Uh, it does a very good job of splitting uh, things that you will do uh, with respect to planning your flight. Um, that's that's the, the strategic side, uh, which is located here in this FMS function. When we go to the FMS function, this is where we load flight plans, add approaches. Uh, we can uh, load arrivals or departures. When we're flying, when we're ready to take off fly the aircraft, we'll go to the MFD mode. This is where your moving map pages are. So the first map that we come to is the uh, composite moving map. Uh, now this is like the build your own map. You can uh, Use these hard keys down the side to add terrain, lightning, uh, next rad information, traffic, um, any information that's pumped into the system you can display on this composite moving map. Another great thing about the KSN 770 that improves situational awareness is you can go here by hitting the page button and split the screen. Uh, so you can uh, very easily go between uh, two different functions of the system uh, right there in front of you hit the page button again, you can actually break this into three. Here I have the composite moving map, I have traffic in the upper left, and the strike finder right below. Okay, so now what we're going to do is insert a simple IFR flight plan. Uh, today's flight's going to go from the uh, Hartford Brainerd Airport to Groton, Connecticut. We're going to assume that air traffic control has given us a, uh, a clearance of uh, cleared to the uh, Groton Airport uh, via Hartford VOR, Victor 58 Groton VOR, uh, then direct to the airport. So the first thing I'm going to do, uh, this is a flight planning activity, so that's on the strategic side. Uh, we're coming over here to FMS. Another key with the KSN 770 is to always look for the magenta box. We want to bring the magenta box down to the flight plan. So I'm going to double tap. Now the flight plan's active, and I still have to unlock it by hitting edit. With the flight plan unlocked, I'm going to go ahead and put my first waypoint in, which is the Hartford VOR. So using the on-screen uh, keyboard, I'm going to type Hotel Foxtrot Delta. Now rather than put the uh, waypoint in right away, I'm going to first put the endpoint in, which is going to be the Groton VOR. So I do this by again going back to here, Golf Oscar November. Okay, now I'm going to go back and insert the airway between these two points. I have my entry and my exit. I'm going to hit Insert, Airway, Victor 5-8. Watch all those fixes come in. So now I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen here. Notice now I'm using the uh, multifunction joystick. And I'm going to add the final destination. 
which is going to be the the uh, Groton Airport. Dolph, Oscar, November. Uh, so they've uh, told us we're going to do the RNAV to 2-3. So I'm going to come over here on the uh, FMS page, hit Procedure, Approach, select RNAV 2-3. We'll go ahead and assume that we're getting vectors today. And now the approach is loaded. Now to get to the approach plate, I can go back to the MFD page, take the uh, multifunction joystick without looking, all the way to the right and one click to the left. Okay, now let's say that ATC gave us a little surprise and they want us to uh, uh, do a holding pattern on the Groton VOR. So I'm going to go to my FMS page. I'm going to go highlight the Groton VOR and hit Procedure. Over here it says Hold. If I hit Add, it's going to bring up a window that's going to allow me to build any holding pattern almost as quickly as they read it off to me. So Chuck, this, uh, this entire stack is available now. The KSN 770 is certified. What's the price of this retrofit stack uh, that we're, we're sitting behind here? It's uh, 12995 uh, for the KSN 770. Uh, you're looking at around $18,000 for the entire stack. That's an audio panel, uh, a WAS GPS, and uh, an ADSB out transponder. Uh, we also have the trade-up program, uh, which allows you to take uh, older Bendix King equipment and trade it back in for additional discounts on top of that. And you could read more about the KSN 770 in the March 2016 issue of Aviation Consumer Magazine. Reporting for Aviation Consumer, I'm Larry Anglesano. Thanks for watching.